Hi there, I'm Hudson. Welcome to Cultural Capital. Today I'm talking about the author, authority and authenticity. This video is inspired by the book Story by Robert McKee. He's an experienced screenwriter and editor and in Story he explores how stories work, in particular in the screenwriting process. But I think it has applications across the whole story spectrum from history and journalism to microblogging. In one section he talks about three related but distinct concepts. The author, authority and authenticity. I'm a writer but more importantly I'm a storyteller and a story fan. I love stories in books, TV, films, comics, told by friends, when meeting strangers. A true author, no matter the medium, is an artist with godlike knowledge of his subject. So we all know what an author is, right? I want to use the word author in a wider sense, of someone who makes something and presents it to an audience, whether that's an audience of millions through broadcast, for example YouTube, or thousands at a gig, or an audience of one in a conversation, an email, a tweet. Regardless of the audience numbers, a true author will have answers to the questions posed by the audience. For authors of fiction, this means investigation and research into the depths of their imagination, into the lives of their characters, into the history of their world, whether that world is real or not. In this case, the only person who might think that you're wrong is you. For authors of factual works, of non-fiction, this means researching the truth, the history of the subject, the stories of the people involved, their lives and their experiences. Being wrong, in this case, is easy. You might have an opinion, but it could be wrong because you don't have the facts. And your audience will be quick to point out that you're wrong and how wrong you are. A writer is a person who cares what words mean, what they say, how they say it. Writers know words are their way towards truth and freedom, and so they use them with care, with thought, with fear, with delight. The test of authorship is knowledge. The effect of writing with authority is authenticity. Now let's turn to authority. I'm going to expand on McKee's use of authority. I'm talking about authority in the sense of influence, of being recognised for personal and specialised expertise, and particularly in the act of telling stories. If you want to demonstrate authority in storytelling, you need to bring your personal expertise to the making of a story. That expertise is the key. Expertise that you've learned, expertise that you've experienced, expertise that you've sought out from those who've gone before, from peers, from elders. Without that expertise, you can't hope to show authority. In fact, without the expertise, you'll show your deafness to the story. Expertise isn't impossible to develop. If you're writing about a person or a character who is unlike yourself, do the research. Talk to the people who have lived that life. Look up the history. Watch documentaries. In our connected world, it's criminal if you don't. To create what Tolkien calls a secondary universe is to make a new world. The only voice that speaks there is the creator's voice. And every word counts. Authenticity means an internally consistent world, true to itself in scope, depth and detail. I want to add to McKee's definition. As well as an internally consistent world, an authentic story is consistent with the real world, even in fantasy or science fiction. It's based on reality in some way, even if it's a dreamlike, surreal or hyperreal version of reality. The characters will bear some relationship to real people, even if the story is minimal or allegorical. They will act in the ways that human beings act or your audience won't care. And you want your audience to care. Authenticity, like authority, is based on expertise, but it's not a replication of reality. It's about knowing the one detail that makes a story the truth, with a little t, and then showing the detail naturally and clearly. Where authenticity takes a back seat is where the story is told from the surface, from the outside in, when characters are reduced to a single descriptor. For example, a character is a person of colour, but without the reality of specific experience. When the story speaks only in generalities, never providing illuminating detail on the lives of the people in the story. If one believes that words are acts, as I do, then one must hold writers responsible for what their words do. It's easy to forget what being an author means for your words, your stories, your voice. Only by investing in developing your authority through developing your knowledge your research, your expertise, will you develop your authenticity. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe so that you can see more cultural capital.